In this video, we're going to step through the new transactions. We've already created our store, set up the store details, added a vendor, and now we're ready to make a sale. This will be the first page you see when you log into Quail, and it works just like writing it down on a paper receipt. You'll work left to right. First, when a customer brings up an item to be sold, you want to enter the booth number. We entered this as A1 in a previous video. A short description, whether it's um, something you name it or it's off the tag. Just name it description of item. The count will be the quantity of items. We'll just do one for this. Uh, sale, it's pre-populated for no discount. We'll talk about this in a later video, the different types of uh, sale discounts and one-off discounts. But for the sake of this video, we'll just do a straight sale. The price of the item, under $100 for this item. And you'll see over here in the total as well, $100 plus the uh, effective tax rate. Now, if you're done your sale, you can start with complete payment and finish out the sale, but we're gonna add a few more items for this. For our second item, I'll demonstrate a tax exempt item. Now, depending on your state, this may be clothing or non-prepared foods, just all depends on the jur jurisdiction you're in, um, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now, and we'll use a second vendor. So this will be another vendor. That's a tax-free item. Again, we'll just do a quantity of one, and we'll put this in again as $100 for the sake of easy math. Go ahead and click this tax exempt checkbox, and you'll see here the previous item included tax. This item does not. It's $100. And then we'll go ahead and demonstrate an item that has a quantity greater than one. So again, we'll do A1 is the booth. And we can show if we do five items at $2 a piece, that the total is $10 and with tax 63 cents. So our total comes out to 216.88 for the entire sale. Now, if the entire sale is tax exempt, for example, another dealer is purchasing this item, you can click this checkbox right here. And you'll notice the subtitle is 210 and the total is 210. You can also record the information for that uh, tax exempt uh, purchaser. We'll talk about that in a later video. Once you have all the items in your cart, we can go ahead and step through the payment process. So go ahead and click calculate payment. Here you see the total and it defaults to a full payment in a uh, payment method of cash. You can change this preferred payment method in your settings and we'll talk about this in a different video when we go through the different uh, settings you can change with your store. But we'll leave it here for the sake of this uh, video and making it easy. And we'll go ahead and calculate change. No change, they paid the exact amount needed. You can always edit this value, say $220, calculate change, and you'll see that you owe them $3.12. And once you're ready to complete the transaction, click finalize, and it will complete the transaction for you.